Tima is 30 seconds. Launch director on countdown one. SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. Tima is 15, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, Side booster ignition. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, is supersonic. Side boosters are now throttling back up to full power. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up with side booster shutdown and separation. shutdown. Side boosters. Successful separation. We're coming up on Nico and shutdown. Coming up on bearing separation. Center core side engines on fire, also look good.
Mr. Boost Punch. Center for Boost Punch on shutdown. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really yeah, that's say Absolutely right now. wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> I, I got nothing else. Oh, man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad, successful stage separation. But before that, successful booster separation. You can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, just absolutely incredible. Um, on, on your screen at the moment, uh, you've got a few things happening. On the upper right, you've got MVAC D continuing its burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from uh, or slow all the boosters down from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. And as you can see on your screen, that re-entry burn for those two side boosters has begun. Side boosters entry burn is shut down. Side core entry burn turn. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own re-entry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Yes, and PY and NY side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side boosters transonic. And watch for the landing yeah, lights yeah, deploy at the tail end of that landing board. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective landing zones. Boosters landing lights have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed. And the Falcons have landed. LZ1, LZ2, both side boosters have touched down. Landing legs have landed. 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 And coming up very shortly, the Center Corps will be attempting its landing on the autonomous spaceport drone ship. Check on your screen. Sometimes this footage goes out when it approaches the drone ship and the heavy vibrations make it lose signal. We're crossing our fingers, that's not the case right now. Stage two, nominal parking orbit insertion. Uh, so it looks like that landing is happening at the moment. We have lost signal. Uh, we're hoping that signal comes back shortly. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Yeah, the, as Michael mentioned earlier, with the vibrations of the rocket and how it shakes up the cameras that are on the drone ship, sometimes we do lose signal or shakes up the antennas. 